Hi there, welcome to Global. Let me show you how to use GPT-3 to improve your application. Hi, Jess. Hi, good to see you. Thank you, how's your day? Good, how about you? I'm doing good. I'm thinking to create a new app. Please choose preset. I would like to create a store called My Store. Store called My Store is created successfully. Open the editor. Editor for My Store project is open. Inside the editor, we could see uh, different products that we can edit or we can add a new product. Let's edit a chair. So we can see price, title, and a description. And over here, we are able to ask GPT-3 uh, to create a chair description that sell. Okay. I think it looks great. Okay, let's save the changes. We also can use a voice command uh, to produce a new description. Ask OpenAI to create an iMac description that sell. Asking GPT-3 to create an iMac description that sell. New product with a generated description has been added successfully. The product description is, Mac is the first personal computer that is easy to use right out of the box. It's so easy three-year-olds have it all figured out, but it is powerful enough for most seven-year-olds. Mac user interface features intuitive icons with drag and drop simplicity and functional simplicity of Macintosh files system CMAP1 questions. Mac share can be. Okay, now let's create a website. Now I would like to create a website called My Website. Web app called My Website is created successfully. Open the editor. Editor for my website project is open. Inside the editor, we could see different pages. And inside the page, you could put either a link to a web page or a link to a YouTube video or simply HTML code or JavaScript code, CSS code. Uh, and let's, let's try it out. Let, let's see how it looks like. Over here, we have a link to the web page explaining how to use a Globum store preset. And also we have a video explaining how to use voice. We can add uh, multiple pages or write our own HTML code. Let's ask GPT-3 to write HTML code for us. Ask OpenAI to create a new button that looks like a lemon. Asking GPT-3 to create a new button that looks like a lemon. New page has been added successfully. Okay, great. Let's check it out. So we have a new page over here. Let's open it up. Okay. Looks like a button. And this button looks like a lemon. Another way that you could use GPT-3 is to generate questions for surveys or quizzes. Create a new quiz called Electric Vehicles. Quiz called Electric Vehicles is created successfully. Okay, great. Ask OpenAI to come up with a new question about electric vehicles. Asking GPT-3 to come up with a new question about electric vehicles. The question has been added successfully. The question is, what is the range of a Tesla car? The first answer is up to 20 miles. The second answer is 20 miles. The third answer is 1201 miles. The fourth answer is 548 miles. Thank you, Jess. You're the best. It was the least I could do. To use GPT-3, you need to have an OpenAI account. To connect your OpenAI account, uh, you need to go to the integrations page in the project settings and put uh, the API key. 
Let us know if you guys have any questions. We add more features and more presets every single month. Try it for yourself and see you guys inside.